I'm showing the creation of a pawn game. And we've got the game pretty much working with these blocks, but I want to make it so when the ball gets past the paddle and hits the bottom edge, the game's over. Okay, and what we'll do to signify game over is we'll stop the ball, of course, and we will just say game over in this label up here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna have to change is the ball edge reached um, event because right now, no matter what edge we reach, we we bounce the ball, and we're gonna want to do something different if it's the bottom edge. And let me show you a little um, diagram here. So the way the canvas works in App Inventor, each of the edges is numbered and in fact the bottom edge for whatever reason is given a code of negative one alright so when you reach an edge this parameter is going to be negative one if in fact you've hit the bottom edge okay so we're going to need to do an if statement and check if we have reached the the bottom edge so I'm going to go to control and grab an, an if alright and I'm going to make it an if else by clicking on this blue button so under certain conditions we'll do one thing and under other conditions we'll just bounce the ball what we're doing what we're doing now but the condition we want to check is what is this edge is this edge equal to okay let's grab an equals block and it is e equal to negative one which happens to be the code for the bottom edge All right. so did we hit the bottom edge? And this is a nice place for a comment. So I'm going to hit Control, Add Comment, and I'm just going to say, you know what? Negative one signifies the bottom edge. Okay, and that way, if someone's reading my code, they can kind of tell what's what's going on here. So if I reach the bottom edge, what do I want to do? Well. I want to change what's in this label up here, and this label is called the label score. Okay, so I'm just going to say set label score dot text to something, and you know what? I'm just going to say game over. Pretty pretty simple. All right, so I'm going to type in game over. Okay, and let's let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, sorry. The other thing I want to do when the game gets over is I want to disable the ball so it stops. You know, it, I don't want it to continue moving even though we've said the game is over. So I'm going to click on ball and and the enabled um, property is what I want to change. So I'm going to set ball one dot enabled to false. And I do the same thing in the reset button. Same same exact thing. All right. So my phone's projecting onto the screen, and uh, let me refresh here. Okay. So I'll start the game and maybe I'll try to at least get it the first time so I got a one and let's see if I can miss one okay cool so it hit the bottom edge notice the game over came up up here and uh, did just what I what I wanted to do of course you could do different things for for a game over you know have some sound effects etc um, but you know at least this is how you do can set up the functionality of, of such a thing